What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, test 12, 12 volt DC uh, solenoids, well 24 volt DC solenoids, any DC solenoid basically, um, that has four posts. Um, three posts are a little bit different, um, so I'm just going to talk to you about the four posts today. Um, essentially a solenoid um, like this just ties uh, one side to the other using a smaller power 12 volt signal to actually tie a high draw solenoid, solenoid to get a uh, current together. So you might have a battery bank on this side, you might have another battery bank on this side, and when an engine's running, it'll send a 12 volt signal to this to tie them together so that all the banks get charged equally. And when the engine turns off, it might disconnect power from this and then opens this back up again. This is a normally open and normally open solenoid. So normally open means it's like this and not like this. So uh, essentially, all it's doing, all it is is a big switch um, activated by another switch. So today what you're going to do how to test it is you're actually going to need like a multimeter. You don't need all of this stuff to test it, but I'm going to show you the nice way to test it, um, proper way to test it. Multimeter, an ability to power, send 12 volt signal to it. Um, and if you really want to get into it, um, a multimeter that has a really good ohm setting for you to actually test it. And maybe an amp draw setting to see what these terminals are drawing. Um, what the coil is drawing inside. Um, so I'm going to show you what my what I'm using to send 12 volt power. I'm actually using a power probe from Snap On. Um, it gives me when I push this button here, it sends power to the tip, allows me to send power or ground. But I'm only going to be sending sending power today. The multimeter it's going to make this kind of a sound when there's continuity, and continuity basically is just like continuity would be like one wire. You're basically turning this into one one wire. Whenever these two are open, and then when it clicks from here, it turns into one piece of wire, basically. So continuity would be just exactly what it sounds like, continuity, just the ability to keep going. Um, so when you actually touch these two together, you'll hear a sound, and that's showing you over there on the multimeter. You're showing you a one. Um, it should be a zero, ideally, but uh, you obviously going to get some a little bit of resistance through the wires, um, depending on how, what kind of quality you have, or um, gauge of wire, obviously, is going to matter, too, but... Uh, Zero is what you're looking for, um, but uh, for this, a one or a two, or you can see if I actually move it a slightly a little bit, you'll see the numbers getting higher. That's just poor contact. Um, again, that'll also apply to something like this as well. If you go ahead and touch this together and activate it, and it does show like a 10 or a 20, um, you want to you wanna kind of think about replacing it because it's actually not making full contact inside. It's making partial contact. Um, you should get a zero or a one, what you're looking for. So what I do is I'll take these two terminals that come off the multimeter, I'll put them to the side here. It makes it easier. I can do it with one hand, especially since I'm recording right now. Alligator clip. Clip it on here. Take the other alligator clip that I have here. Clip it on this side. Clip it to the multimeter leads. Set it back down. Take the other one. Which is the red, and clip it to that, just like that. And you'll see there's no continuity between it because there's nothing, nothing's activating it. So now I'll take my multimeter and I'll, I mean my power probe, and I'll apply. Here's a ground to this side, and as you can see here, 12.4 volts on my DC side right now, and I'll go ahead and apply voltage to it. You'll hear it click, and you won't get nothing. So you'll hear the solenoid clicking and you're getting nothing. So what that's telling me is that the solenoid is actually, the coil part is working, but it's actually not dropping down and making full contact inside. So what that means is solenoid has failed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these here and I'll show you what a, what a good one looks like. Same principles, everything's hooking up the exact same way, just a new solenoid. ground from the power probe and a 12 volt signal and you'll see over there on the multimeter we're getting two 
all the connections have probably reduced it down a little bit, but click it every time. You're going to get a nice little two or a one, depending on the connections you have. I have a bunch of connections, so it's going to reduce down a little bit the amount of resistance it sets it's getting. But essentially, that's what a solenoid does. It takes 12 volt power and a ground and activates a switch inside that applies power through to go all the way through.